Well, Brian, if you were lucky enough last night, you saw some meteors. Those were also accompanied by some northern lights once again. And Jack Wu with the 22 News Storm Team explains why we see them and when we can see them next. The night sky was lit up with such beautiful colors yesterday, and let's talk about how those form. So that's called an aurora in the northern hemisphere. It's an aurora borealis. In the southern hemisphere, this also happens called an aurora australis. And the first things first, we have to talk about this nice little place. It's called Earth. You should go visit sometime. There's a magnetic field around Earth. Now, this is going to attract some particles from the sun. The sun gives off solar winds, and when there's a big flare on the sun, more of these charged protons and electrons are going to come off of the sun and enter Earth's magnetic field. Now, naturally, as it starts to approach Earth, it's going to go towards the north or the southern pole. This is where the magnetic field is going to be the weakest. These Electrons and protons are going to collide with tons of different elements in the Earth's atmosphere. And depending on what element and at what altitude this happens and what latitude as well, you're going to get different colors. Let's explain what some of those colors are and what they mean exactly. You're going to get red auroras above 200 kilometers when these molecules are oxygen. You go a little lower between 100 and 200 kilometers. If it collides with nitrogen, it'll appear blue. You'll get green auroras when it's at that same altitude, but it appear, but it collides with oxygen. And then the lower ones, when they collide with nitrogen, 100 kilometers or below, you're going to get pink. They're, be, they're able to be viewed the best at midnight, but when you get big solar flares like this, you can view them as early as right after the sun sets to right when the sun rises and we could get that same reaction this evening. Working for you, I'm Jack Wu with the 22 News Storm Team.